I'm bringing out my starting point. From this starting point, I'll be taking the other measurements, which is uh, waist to hip 10.5, waist to skirt length 22. So the skirt length is actually 21, and I added one inch for him. One quarter of the hem is 8.5 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance. Then the hip is 11.5 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance. Then what I have on the hip, I'll just put it on the hem side. If you're making for a client that has smaller laps, you can reduce, you can reduce the hem part by 1.5 to 2 inches from what you have uh, on the hip on the hip side so like this hip now is uh, 11.5 so if you read if you remove two inches you're having 9.5 that is what you put there so now this is for the back and i'll be marking two inches first so this two inches is for bomb illusion i already have the video and is on short clip Just check it out and watch it so now i'll just place the front on the line after which i'll mark one inch which is the original uh, zip allowance and i'll connect it i won't i won't really go into details of this bomb illusion because i already have the video so please guys check it out Good thing about bomb illusion is it will help your bomb bomb to sit inside the skirt. Next thing is to mark out the zip length. So I'm marking 10 inches. Then the length of slits you want so this will be having four inches slits on the machine i'll sew up this line like this for the dart i'll be marking four inches for nipple to nipple measurements Then the dart for the back is 6 inches. I don't put that on the front. I only put that at the back. From the center front of the skirt, reduced by 0 0.5 inch. You can reduce by 1 inch, but when I'm making skirt like this, most times I reduce by 0 0.5, sometimes 1 inch, depends. So now it's time to close the sides. I'm placing them front to front the back on the front side because of the bone militian i'm taking the measurements from the back the back of the skirt instead of the front side so on this hip line i'll be taking the hip measurements of 11.5 I'll do the same the other side you can see at that bomb area it has excess that is why it's always good to take the measurements from the back
uh, my machine i will close it up to this point then hem this part for the waistband i'll be taking the round measurement of the waist like this then i'll use it to cut the length of the band The width of the band is 4 inches. Then the length, most times I always cut more, so it's 37. Now it's time to fix it in. I ironed SD to the band just to make it a little bit firm. So now I'm just going to sew on 0 0.5 inch all round. After sewing, I notched it. Now I have to flip it over like this and top stitch. So here it is. Now it's time to put the zip, and the skirt is ready.